most of the time when you see an employee trying to get that done, they're going to be trying to push it. In a situation when you either got to push it up the incline or you got to push it over the rough surfaces again, that's where your strains and your sprains are going to come into play. And those are the situations that you need and you want to try to prevent. Back and shoulder injuries are unique because there is the aspect of fraud. Um, when there's fraud involved, typically it's with your strains and your sprains because they can say what they want. Um, the doctor didn't, it's not a broken bone. The doctor can't specifically say they're fixed and they won't. The doctor won't be able to say that. We're trying to engineer out the situations with back strains, um, potential for shoulder injury, and then moving, slipping, and falling. Those are your three biggest areas and for sure in these type of employer situations, that's where your most most of your claims are going to come from. So when it comes to the return on investment, they're averaging somewhere in that forty to fifty thousand dollar range most of the time for a lost time claim.